beautiful person. I think I'm live now. <laughs> Not sure. I hope uh, he didn't have two minutes of weirdness. But uh, anyway, I am super happy to be with you. This is going to be a show because I am going to bed. <laughs> but I did want to talk for a couple of minutes about sleep, which is uh, one of the four points that I mentioned uh, in my challenge or manifesto, if you will. So I'm going to do videos about the different points about that. Um, here's one. Woohoo! We're doing well. But um, anyway, tonight I want to talk about sleep because it is something that we just don't... Uh, ooh, looks like it's jumping around. Oh well. We'll see how it goes. I wanted to talk about sleep because sleep is one of those uh, things that people just tend to scrimp on, especially those of us who are busy, we've got kids, we've got a business, we've got stuff going on and our sense to suffer. But let me tell you, it is not a good thing. So I wanted to give you quickly three of my favorite tips for getting a good night's sleep. So uh, without further ado, my three tips for getting a good night. And hopefully you'll get those seven hours. So, first one, you're not going to like. I don't like it either. Um, turn off all the screens, <laughs> at least an hour before you go to bed. So, uh, that could be kind of fun. Um, obviously, I'm not doing it right now. But generally, I am going to try and do that. And um, it's really important because the blue light means confuses your brain and makes it think that it's daylight. So, I have all of my screens go uh, yellow. In the, but even so, it is better to just uh, not look at screens for an hour before you want to go to bed so that your body can wind up. Read a book. Remember those? Number two is uh, sleep in a dark, cool room, which doesn't have blue lights in it. Uh, I was reading um, Dave Asper, not Asper, Asprey. Asper is somebody else. Asprey's uh, book about... Um, it's called Headstrong. It's about various ways to hack your body and improve your brain. Uh, he mostly talks about mitochondria and stuff like that. But um, the blue light is actually a problem for your body. So uh, I unplug my uh, some of my electronics at night because I, they have blue LEDs on them. And it's just not a good thing to have in your bedroom at night. And then number three. There's also substances that you can use to help you go to sleep. So I'm not talking about know, smoking a joint or even drinking alcohol. Alcohol is kind of a two-edged sword in terms of going to sleep. It's not doesn't really make for a good restful sleep. But um, some of my favorites are lavender oil. I put it on the soles of my feet, behind my ears. It's just relaxing. And what else do I have on my list? Oh, yeah, a melatonin spray that I use that also helps with going to sleep. Yes, when you get to my age, uh, the issue isn't so much going to sleep as it is staying asleep. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we tend to get that, excuse me, we tend to get that spike at 4 a.m. that wakes us up, the cortisol spike that wakes us up, and then we think we need to sleep. It's really a spike from our adrenals, which is kind of interesting. But, um, so uh, off we go to the bathroom, and then and kind of hard to get back to sleep. So uh, my mentor, Susan Sly, suggests taking datogens at 4 in the afternoon, and that helps prevent that 4 a.m. spike. It's kind of interesting. So anyway, those are that's what I wanted to tell you. I am going to go to bed because I get up early, and I find that if I stay up too late, burning the candle from both ends, not a good thing, not good for my health. And it's not good for your health if you're not getting enough sleep. So if you would like uh, these tips or things, just talk about sleep and about getting rid of that quarantine 15 that uh, I've been talking about, just drop me a message and we can chat. So have a great evening. Remember, I love you. Talk to you again soon. Bye.